Hi, I'm Milan from Kitik Industries and today I'm going to show you how you can use our brand new Jarvis Winder software. We kicked all external services, we programmed everything ourselves, we have our own backend, our own cloud and everything is made completely by us in our control, enabling us to give you the best user experience possible. So when you receive your winder, all you have to do is just plug in the 12 volt power supply and then the chip inside here will create its own Wi-Fi. So you can just use your phone, your tablet or your laptop and check for Wi-Fi. And now you see here, uh, it created the Jarvis Winder Wi-Fi. Now obviously it's not uh, no internet connection because it's not a Wi-Fi router, it's a Jarvis Winder. But if you connect to it, then you can go on Safari and um, or any browser, it will work on every browser. So to set the thing up, all you have to do is type in Jarvis uh, Winder.local in your browser, Winder.local. It will work on any browser, just type in Winder.local and it will open this welcome page. From this welcome page, you will also have three other pages, the connect, the control and the configure page. So first thing we're going to do is the connect page. So if you don't want to have the Jarvis Winder make its own Wi-Fi all the time and you want to be logged in while you're logged into the real Wi-Fi, you can connect the Jarvis Winder to a real Wi-Fi. So here it's already connected to Keytech Team, which is the Wi-Fi we have in our workspace. But to demonstrate how this works, I can now connect it to Keytech Conference and just type in the password like this and press connect and then it will try to connect to this Wi-Fi and if it works, then it will appear with a green line. It will say, tell you successfully connected to the network Keytech conference. So now your winder is not only has its own Wi-Fi, but it's also logged into the main Wi-Fi from your workspace. So you can be with your iPad, just randomly browsing on the internet. And whenever you want to control the winder, you can type in winder local and control it. So next step to set up your Jarvis winder. So you received your Jarvis winder. Next thing is you want to put your spool on the spool axis. So all you do is grab your spool and then grab the hero and just um, place it on here and clutch. If this is our clutch system, it will work for pretty much every spool. It's also adaptable. You can change the size and it's fully 3D printed. So now you just clutch the spool really tight and this is ready to go. So next thing you want to do is before you go on the control tab is go on the configure tab. This is the configure tab. Here you can see Wi-Fi device name and access point name. This is just how your Jarvis Winder appears when you're searching for a Wi-Fi. And then the most important thing for you is the spool calibration. So here you have a big slider and you can see the red line in the slider. This is the space from where your spool is calibrated. So you can change this. For example, now I can adjust this. As soon as I press a button here, the Ferrari will home. We implemented senseless homing. This means the Ferrari notices when it bumps against this axis and then it moves right over here to the side of the spool. So how do you know this side of the spool? It's already pre-programmed, but you can change the programming. Imagine your spool is wider than ours or uh, not that wide. So now I can change um, the exact calibration step by step. And I want to ensure that the laser point, the laser point, it should be exactly on the inner rim of the spool. So this looks like a calibration that I'm fine with, perhaps a little more like this. And then I go to the other side and I can adjust this as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm checking that the laser point, it should be on the inner rim of the spool. So now I'm going to move it back a bit. And this is looking fine to me. And this is how I'm going to start the winding process now. To start the winding process, let's go. It's all you have to do is go on the control tab. On the control tab, it's um, not that great yet. Our design team is still working on it. But uh, basically, here you can see the three um, motors with its RPM. And here, this is the speed adjuster for the puller. So what I can do now is I can press this button and it will appear in the menu. And I can press start puller. Now the puller is starting to move. Um, and this way you can already thread the filament, start the extrusion, make sure the diameter is in spec and um, you don't have to wind yet because at the beginning you will just want to have a puller pull, get the filament right and then as soon as it's right you want to start winding. So we enabled this. And now what you can do is you can change your puller speed by adjusting the slider. So as soon as I release the slider, it will change the speed. So now I'm going to go max speed, which is 13.5 meters per minute. And this is the max speed now. Yes, and now I'm going to go back a little slower so I don't have to hassle that much later. Um, down here are statistics, status, 
uh, for now. Uh, it, will, it will measure meters round, layers round, total rotations, running time, estimated weight. It's still a bit in the, in the developing process, but this is uh, soon going to be complete. And then you'll have all the statistics you need for your extrusion process. So next step, I'm going to thread in the filament that I have on our filament stand here. Grab it, thread it through the puller. Then I'm going to thread it through the filament Ferrari, which is just a thread system like this. And then put it through the necessary hole on the spool, grab it, and then I'm going to press start winding on the app. So at the beginning, it will have to adjust its speed a bit. You're gonna to have to help it a bit, but after a bit, our algorithms will notice what speed is necessary and adjust accordingly. So now you can let go. You can cut this off if you want to. I'll just leave it on there. Actually, no, I won't. I will grab the cutter and just cut this off so it looks nice. Perfect. So as you see, the Jarvis winder is now working its magic. Um, the special thing is that we improved our tension mechanism. So this motor here, it constantly measures how much current it is taking and um, basically interprets these values and then uh, calculates if this filament is on tension or not. So you can see this is really on tension and this is important because you want a really tense winding so you can have perfect winding just like we have right now. And uh, one important thing is, now the filament variety will go from left to right while this is winding. Um, you will see it moving quite slowly here. And another important thing is, if you want to change your speed, imagine you now want to start make the winding process um, faster because you're in a hurry. Um, don't be too fast, you can adjust it like in small steps. See now I just went a little bit higher and then you can do this in smaller steps. Uh, if you go from two meters per minute to 30 meters per minute, just in one go uh, the spooler will have a hard time adjusting that fast and you will have like a little um, dent in your uh, perfect one so this is our tutorial on how to use the new software of the Jarvis Winder I hope you liked it I hope you like our update and uh, if anything we'll always be there for you in the chat groups on the phone or via email thank you